All right, boy, check this out. So this is our, mine and Robbie's, Uds Ugly Drum Smoker. So Robbie bought the barrel for 25 bucks. And what we've done so far, those are some vents on one side, vents on the other side. We drilled several holes. We're not done yet. So I'm just showing you what we've done so far. And this is on the inside of it. So what we've done, this is our basket that you put your lump charcoal in. And you can see well, that's a piece that fell down. I got to get it. But we've got our U bolts in that will hold the basket. The lower ones are for smoking. The upper ones are if you want to do direct grilling like steak. And so we still got some work to do, but you can so you can adjust the basket for that's for smoking. If you want to do direct. That's your direct, and then, hold this Robbie. I'm gonna have Robbie hold the camera. And then, this is the grill itself that you can put on there. So we got that. We still gotta work on the lid. We haven't got the lid done yet. And this is what lowers your basket into the, smoker this is our thermometer that we bought or that came with it so we still got some work to do but what we've done is we've stopped because we're going to get it uh, powder coated they're going to sandblast it knock off all the rust and then we're going to paint it with some high heat enamel that's it later All right, here's where I am on the grill. So, Robbie's friend had to weld these holes shut. So they're welded now. Now what I have to do is I have to get the handle centered. Get this thing. This is what really scares me more than anything on this whole grill. Because I got to drill holes in each one of these and hopefully line it up correctly without jacking it up too bad. And then this is the hook that's going to go on the other side of the lid so I can hang the, the lid on the side of the barrel when you're checking your food. So, show you here what I got here in a few minutes later. All right, I think I've got it. So what I did is I had to get this handle, the lid hatch. That's actually gonna go on the other side of the lid. So I got the holes drilled for the handle. Got it lined up good. Holes drilled for the latch. I and mean, this is the thing that I'm gonna, it's probably the hardest. And it's, so you can see all the holes. I got it lined up pretty darn close. It's not, it's not perfect, but should have some good airflow. You can see a little bit of extra metal where it didn't drill little piece there but overall I'm pretty happy with it so my part is done so now I'm gonna take this bad boy to Rick's powder coating and gonna get it painted 
once they paint it, they literally said it could take about two weeks. They're kind of busy, of course. Then I bring it home and hook the handles up, the thermometer, the bottle opener, and she'll be ready to roll. Pretty proud of it. See ya. Well, got it back. It's painted kind of a matte black. So now all I gotta do is finish putting on the parts. So a couple things to lesson learn. Uh, next time I know not to do anything with the barrel. Let it get painted first before I try to put anything on. So what's gonna happen is like these nuts and bolts here they're black, but the remaining ones that I put on are gonna be silver, but that's okay, not a huge deal. Um, just wish I would've waited uh, to do anything to it until after it got painted, but I can do that on the next one if we do another one. So anyway, I'll show it to you guys when I get it done shortly. Rico and Lamardrick. This is my uh, smoker that I was working on. I was showing you guys a few weeks ago. Finally got it finished. Got it painted. Got like a matte black. I think if you remember, it was just kind of an old blue. It had rust spots all over it, so I got it sandblasted and powder coated. So there's my vents on that side that's a place to hang your tools bottle opener if you're drinking put the handles on got the lid with the uh, vents and then, let me see if i can try to get this lid off Bottle. got a latch for the lid so you can kind of hang it on the side of the smoker and that's the inside of it I'm gonna season it today and maybe use it tomorrow I think it turned out pretty good starting the initial burn sprayed it down with some canola oil and I'm gonna let it go as long as it'll last Mary wants me to do a damn brisket tomorrow so if I decide to do one I may be giving you a call for for some pointers because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but anyway got the basket lit looks like you got some good airflow going so far so good it's going baby yeah 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 smoke's rolling pretty good on it I got canola oil on the inside of it, seasoning it up. Go let it go for as long as it'll go. We'll see. Sitting outside, freezing my nuts off, grilling some thin cut pork chops. Gonna put a little barbecue sauce on them, or on half of them. Mary doesn't want it on the other half. I'll show them to you shortly. All right, one hour. I'm gonna spritz them with a little bit of apple juice. And I just rotated the, uh, the grill. I'm only a little worried about not a whole lot of space between second and third rack. I might have to actually move them around here in a little while. I'll let them go for a bit. But this is just, this is hour number one. Putting the lid back on. It got up to about 280. So, lid's back on. I got it wide open at the top. Two and a half at the bottom. Two and a half on that side. 
Um, see how long it takes to get back up. To, and it just jumps 232 right there. So hopefully pretty quick.